Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the first seven titles which have just literally been released, and also we're going to be talking about the villain and who it could be because the titles definitely tease it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead. We've got the official Supergirl Season 6 titles. This comes from Spoiler TV, and I'm super excited to break them down because we have the first seven episodes that have been revealed. So we know the titles, and so we'll go through them one by one, and we're going to break them down and talk about what they mean. So let's first start off with episode one. Now episode one is titled Rebirth, and most of you guys who are DC Comics fans, you know what Rebirth means. And so Rebirth obviously can mean a lot of things. It can be like the dawn of a new age, you know, starting again anything like that. That's basically what Rebirth means. However, in DC Comics, it has a lot more significance because recently in 2016, DC released DC Rebirth and that is when they rebooted their comics and they had like a bunch of series that just started and it was very successful and you had characters coming out like the Flash comics like Godspeed who has already translated to the Flash. So I don't think it's too out there to say that someone from Supergirl Rebirth could totally come to the show. And this title was definitely influenced by DC Rebirth, and I think there is a very, very, very minimal chance, like a 1% chance, that it has absolutely nothing to do with the comic storyline in Supergirl Rebirth. So, there have been a few theories floating out online, and someone pointed out, and it was a really, really good shout, because in Supergirl Rebirth, the main villain, when Supergirl Rebirth first started, was Zor-El. Now, who is Zor-El, you may ask? Well, Zor-El, we've seen him in Supergirl before. He is Kara's dad from Krypton. Obviously, he's not Jeremiah, and he is presumed dead because we haven't seen him since, and we've only seen Allura, Kara's mum. So, you may ask, why, Ben, are you saying it could be Zor-El? Why could Zor-El be the main villain of Season 6? Well, with the episode title Rebirth, it definitely hints to the comics, and what we've seen recently, and we theorized about this on a recent video, there was a set video that went out on Jesse Raff's birthday, and you can see in the background there is a guy, and this guy is not a crew member or anything like that, he is fully dressed in a costume, and the costume is Kryptonian. And what did zor wear when we've seen him in the past? He always wears this very Kryptonian blue looking outfit. And this outfit you see right here on the screen right now, is pretty much bang on to that, and so I can't tell if it's the same actor or not, it's just very low quality. However, he was on set, he is inside Team Supergirl's base, the tower, so it's definitely someone very important, and I'm pretty sure it is Zor-El, like I'm 80% sure that is Zor-El that we're seeing, and we are going to see him at some point. And with it title Rebirth, what happens if they are making Zor-El the main villain, but he comes as a good guy at first? And again, you may ask, why would he come as a good guy at first? Well, Kara is going to be ecstatic when she sees that her dad is alive and somehow has escaped Krypton. I don't know if it's going to have anything to do with Argo being around, because this is post-crisis and Argo wasn't actually destroyed. And will they go the Superman Lois route and say that because of Crisis, he actually survived and somehow he's been out there in the galaxy and now he has arrived? Well, I think that is very possible. However, I'm going to say, it's going to be because of Crisis, and it's going to be him from another universe. So, like, he's going to be displaced from another Earth. He isn't Kara's real dad. He is a version of Kara's real dad. He's a doppelganger from another Earth where he has landed. Kind of like what's going on with Lex on Superman and Lois right now. So, that's my theory. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Episode 2 is titled A Few Good Women. This is obviously in relation to A Few Good Men, that is a name of a very famous film. So this title is definitely to do with the women of Supergirl. That meaning Nia Now, who actually just got the announcement that she is making the transition into Supergirl's comics. So that is really exciting because Nicole Maines is going to be continuing her role as Supergirl in another form that isn't just the TV show. 
So I thought I would just mention that if you guys want to check that out, that's coming out in June. It is a dreamer story in a new anthology series from DC Comics. But also, what A Few Good Women refers to is definitely Supergirl, Alex, Lena, and Kelly. Because right now they are the main women of Supergirl, and A Few Good Women is obviously in relation to the women of Supergirl. And so, looking forward to this episode. I guess it doesn't tease that much, apart from it's going to be very centric on those characters, which is very exciting because they are some of the best characters, obviously. Anyway, let's move on. So, episode 3 of season 6 is called Phantoms of the Opera. So now, I actually think we're going to get some sort of phantoms or some sort of aliens in this episode. We've been teased that in David Harewood's episode, episode 7, which we have a title for, and we'll get to that in a minute, we are going to be seeing them on an alien ship. And so Phantoms of the Opera definitely teases either ghosts, or I think it's going to tease aliens. Obviously, opera could be a thing. However, Phantom of the Opera is obviously a big, big thing. One of the most popular musicals of all time, and it's gone on forever, and you know, those books and everything about it. And so the play talks about a masked figure who lurks beneath the catacombs of Paris's opera house, exercising a reign of terror over all who inhabit it. So I'm saying with them titling it Phantoms of the Opera, that means there's going to be two phantoms or two bad guys in this episode and they're going to be exercising their reign of terror over Team Supergirl and National City. So I think that is what the title is in reference to, and I think something like that is going to play out. I don't know if it's actually going to be ghosts or aliens, or if it's just referring to like two bad guys, and that's just a reference to the kind of plot of the episode. Okay, so episode 4 is titled Lost Souls. Now, this is pretty obvious what this could relate to. It's about people losing their souls. It's going to be about people losing hope probably more than anything however it could be literally like people are dying so maybe like a team member of supergirl bites the dust or nearly dies but i think it's more likely that it's someone losing hope i don't know if that's going to be supergirl i don't know if it's going to be any of our team members however it could be someone that they are just meeting and supergirl has to save and so it must be noted in the first couple of episodes melissa is going to be around and they did go back and shoot a lot of stuff with her for like a whole month so obviously there is a lot of footage however we must emphasize that it may feel a bit different because they didn't film at the same time with melissa as with the rest of the cast so it's going to be interesting to see how they worked around that okay moving on now this is a two-part episode this is really exciting episode five and episode six one of them is directed by Kyla Lee. I forgot what specific episode it is. However, the first episode, episode 5 of the two-part episode, is titled Prom Night. And episode 6 is titled Prom Again, with an exclamation mark. Okay, so what's going on here? We have some sort of flashback episode. We know Melissa is not going to be in these episodes. Maybe she appears in like one scene at the end of Prom Again, episode 6. However, we know this is a young Kara and young Alex Danvers flashback episode in Midvale. I'm super excited because I love the Midvale episodes and I love the young versions of Kara and Alex played by Olivia Nakanen and Isabella Vidovic who have always done a great job and they're so great. And I'm not even mad that Melissa's not gonna be there. I'm not mad that, you know, a normal version of Supergirl's not gonna be there because they inhabit those characters so well. And it's interesting to know that I'm not sure exactly what's gonna go down Obviously, they're going to be at their prom, the high school prom, and they're going to be having a good time, and that's going to be a whole big thing. We found out in some behind the scenes that Jesse Raff was actually there filming at the same time during the scenes at Midvale, along with Nicole Maines. So that means that Brainy and Nia are going to be showing up. So I'm kind of interested because at one point we know Brainy is going to be showing up in a tux, and it seems like he's going to be going to this prom. So have they time traveled? Or what the hell is going on? Are they just flashing back and Brainy somehow is wearing a tux pretending that he's going to go to the prom? So does prom again refer to them time traveling and including themselves in the young Kara and Alex's prom in Midvale from all those many years ago? So I'm not 100% sure but I want to know your theories about the two part episode and how our main characters are going to be involved in it. Okay so the last title is David Harewood's episode, episode 7 of season 6 titled Fear Not and we've talked about this because this title was revealed on Instagram a while ago by one of the guys who works on the set and so Fear Not can refer to the phrase Fear Not 
However, the title is spelt differently. It's fear and then it's K-N-O-T, like a knot. So people have been theorizing maybe it's something to do with a wedding, something to do with a proposal because, you know, people say tying the knot. But then also it can just relate to maybe a villain's name, like Knot. I don't know if that's the actual villain or not. However, Fear Not does seem like it's definitely to do with the phrase Fear Not. So it's like, Fear Not My Child. Maybe Supergirl says something like that to whatever is going on. But just quickly moving away from the title, we know this episode there is going to be aliens involved. We know they're going to be on a spaceship at some point because that was confirmed from behind the scenes stuff. We talked about that recently. You can go back on my channel and check out some of those videos if you want because we extensively covered the leaks. And also that was the episode where you see supposedly jor -El. So what do you guys think about all of this? I think it's really interesting and I really do hope this comes to fruition. I hope zor -El is the villain of Supergirl Season 6. I think it makes total sense and it would be a great way to go out with a villain that is so personal to Supergirl. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. Also remember, we're gonna be live streaming tonight just a couple of hours after this video goes live. So join me if you wanna talk and we can talk about all of this and all of the recent stuff with like the new Flash episode and new Superman Lois episode. Also, if you missed those videos, I did reviews slash breakdowns for all of those episodes this week, so go check them out there on the channel. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.